Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is another another video in my series of trying one indie brand a month. Um, it's usually more than one but at least one indie brand a month. And today's video I'm super excited because I'm trying another UK indie brand and it's called a, a Cosmetics and this is how my package came with a, a lovely little personalised note, a little bag of crystals which I adore and the little foamy things to to keep them surrounded I got the love is love collection of single pigments they're all loose pigments the highlighter collection and then six others so this is a brand that I only recently discovered and I actually discovered them through seeing Tori of beauty the owner of beauty moon cosmetics using eyeshadows from a a cosmetics so i'm super excited to try so i'm going to quickly pop some of my p louise base pro on the back of my hand and i'm just going to swatch these for you just so you can see the colors so yeah i'll get this on and then i'll come back and we'll do some swatching okay so i have some primer on the back of my hand and i'm going to start with the love is love collection um so these are all really bright and this one is called healing and it is this orange and I'm just gonna dip my finger in and just pop a little oh wow look at that oh okay well that is not messing around that's really pretty um I wouldn't usually put primer on my hand to do swatches but because they're loose pigments that's why. Um, the next shade is called Life and is this beautiful pink. And that's like this. And so I'm not holding my hand up to do it so I don't drop it everywhere. They're, oh, look at those. Beautiful. And then next, so that one's more like a red. I completely misjudged that. I was looking at the pink one when I said that. Um, this is the pink one. It is Love Always. And ooh, look at that. Okay. Okay. And then next up we have the one of these I was most excited for. Screen. This is Nature. I literally just dipped my finger in and then I'm just kind of patting on and there is nature Ooh, they're pretty i love the look of that one um then next we have is this spirit i think it's spirit i can't read that properly it's the purple one again just doing the same just oh just dotting it on wow these have some good pigment they're beautiful and bright i have that all under my nail now and then next up we have serenity which is the blue and there's serenity these are stunning and the last of the love is love collection is sunlight which is the yellow i am so excited to see what this one looks like oh hello wow <laughs> that is gorgeous oh okay so that's the love is love collection now i'm going to go into these um separate ones that i picked up um so i have death drop which is a shade here Feels like a sparkly black from the looks of it. Okay. And there's that. Look at that sheen. Oh, she's pretty. Next up we have Purple Rain, which I had to get for the name alone, really, but also because it looks stunning. Because if you don't know me, I am a massive Prince fan. Yeah, I've got all these different colours up my nail now. Oh, look at that. That is pretty. Oh, look, I've got dirt under my nails now. Ooh, well, multicoloured dirt. <laughs> As you do. 
And then next up is Heather and it's a, another purple. And this one here is Heather. No, Jay, she can't eat the eyeshadows. Beautiful. They're not edible pickle. Okay, then next we have Baby's Room, which is this beautiful yellow. And then there's Baby's Room next to Heather. That is gorgeous. Then we have Clover, which is a green. Hello. Look at that. Ooh, I'm going to have some fun with these. I can see that now. Oh my God, how am I going to choose what ones to use? I have no idea. And then we have Evergreen, which is another green. And that's more of a grass green. Look at those. They are so pretty. So pretty. And then lastly, I have the four highlighters. So the first one is Ice Bitter. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like. And that is, look at that. Look at the purple in that. It's got a real kind of almost ultraviolet shift in it. That is so pretty. Next one is Tink. Oh, hello. Oh. Look at that. Oh my God. That looks like such a stunning highlighter. Oh. They'd also look beautiful over the lid. And then we have Obsessed. And then there is Obsessed. Look at those. Oh my word. And then last but not least, we have Minted, which is another green looking one. And there is Minted. Look at those. Okay. Now, I am dying to put these on my eyes now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip off, um, clear my hand and pop some primer on my eyes and we'll get started. Okay, so I've primed my eyes with the P. Louise base in Aruma 02 and the first shade I'm going to use, I've got to go into a green, is Nature and that's from the Love is Love collection and I'm taking that on a P. Louise, what are you, hashtag 117 and I'm going to take that on the inner, p whoa, okay, well, that right there is some pigment. Okay. Whoa. Look at that green. Isn't it just so beautiful? Yeah, I'm just going to take that on along most of my crease from the inner side. Wow that is stunning that is stunning i'm literally just taking the bits that are in the lid after taking the lid off oh okay that is beautiful i am loving loving this okay so let's put the lid back on that one and then I'm going to go into Serenity, the blue, and I'm just going to take that on a Spectrum A12. And I'm going to take that right on this outer area here. Ooh. It is so pigmented, it is beautiful. Look at that. Ooh. I'm just going to blend it into the green, hopefully not a harsh line between them. Wow. Yeah, this is beautiful.
I love how that's looking. And then I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use sunlight, the yellow, just to kind of blend out the edges a little bit. I'm just gonna take a little bit less of that. And then I'm gonna use that just like this. Pretty. So I'm going in with a lighter hand and a more open brush because I'm using it to blend out. That is beautiful. <laughs> that is beautiful, isn't it? I'm going to take it right over the inner part of the green there. Just, oh, look at that. Around the edges. That's looking beautiful. Okay, now to go on the outer edge of my lid, I'm going to use a death drop. Taking that, I didn't even say what I used. For the the yellow, I used a P. Louise, what are you? Hashtag 112. And then for Death Drop, I'm using a Morphe, is it a Morphe Medicine Beer one? It doesn't have a, a number or name on it. But it's kind of a flat, flat and fluffy brush. So I get some of this. And I'm just gonna pat that right in this. Oh, that is nice. Check that out. Just right in this outer area here. Ooh, it's got a really nice sheen to it. I don't often use loose pigments. I'm quite, I tend to prefer to use pressed, but I really, I really wanted to give this a try and I didn't tap my brush off that time. So it is on my face, but that is absolutely fine. I can clean that up in a moment. Yep, that is gorgeous. Okay, and for, I'm not sure if I'm, yeah, probably for the rest of my lid, I want to use Clover, this beautiful green. It looks stunning. I'm just going to take that on a Zoeva 237. And, oh, oh, oh this is pretty. that oh, wow. yeah, I didn't spray my brush or anything I just got the P. Louise base down on my lid I'm just picking it up on a dry brush and it is performing beautifully This is so pretty, so pretty. I may be just a little bit in love with this shade. Look at that. Oh, wow.
so pretty. This is beautiful. So I'm going to quickly nip off and finish my face. Apart from highlighter, I will come back and we'll try out one of the highlighters. So yeah, just stay where you are. Okay, so I finished off my face apart from highlighter. I'll just let you know what I did and then we'll try the highlighter out. Um, so for under my eyes, I used the purple one from the Love is Love collection, Spirit. And I put that most of the way along, blended that out. Um, and then I also went on my lower lash line on the inner part with baby's room oh my god that's so pretty so pretty and then for my inner corner and brow bone highlight i went in with one of the highlighters and it's the shade minted and i think it looks beautiful absolutely beautiful um the liner and lashes are both from artitude cosmetics which is another uk indie brand um so it's the catitude um, two in one liner and lash adhesive, the black one, and also the lashes. I don't know the name of these ones, but they're Artitude Cosmetics and I love them. I think they look beautiful. Um, mascara, not that you can really see much of it, is the Be Perfect Lash Out Mascara. Um, for contour and blush, I've used the P. Louise Dream A Little Dream palette, the Receive one. And I've used the, the contour and the blush from this. I love that little palette. It's beautiful. Um, and in my waterline, I used the Made By Mitchell All Smudge No Budge liner in the shade Charisma. I love these little liners. My lipstick is from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. It's the metallic lip gloss and I can't remember for the life of me what the name is right now. It's escaped my head, um, but it'll be in the description box below. So yes, it's absolutely stunning. I love it, it's beautiful. Let's get on to highlighter and I want to use Tink. Um, I think it's gonna look beautiful. So I'm gonna use this brush here and um, this came in a set from Beauty Moon Cosmetics and I absolutely love using it for highlighter so let's get a little little bit on the brush there so tink oh 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 that is pretty I just I try not to put it. I have this habit of I like to be seen from space, but oh my word, look at that! I hope that's showing on camera. Just that really beautiful green. Oh, I'm gonna put a bit more on just because I can. It's so pretty. It's not leaving any cast. Look at that. Oh, okay. Okay, I think that looks absolutely stunning. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, guys. So this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I have enjoyed using these so much. I am so in love with the look i think it looks amazing i love the pigment this they're just pigmented bright beautiful i yeah i will definitely be picking up some more products from a a cosmetics because oh, this is beautiful i love it and the highlighter just mm, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so guys, I will make sure to have the website for ANA Cosmetics linked in the description box below. Please go check them out. It's a very small UK indie brand. And yeah, another one that I have completely fallen in love with. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you so very much. If you've enjoyed this, 
please do give it a like because that really helps me out. Um, if you're new around here, if you love to see more colourful makeup looks, more indie brands um, being used because I... As this series suggests, I'm on a mission to try at least one indie brand a month. Um, and yeah, indie brands are where my heart lies. So if that all sounds like something you'd be interested in, please do consider subscribing. Come and hang out with me some more. I would love that so much. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spa like she own it Looking like the world is your runway She can set it off like a gunplay Oh my Yeah Talk of the city with the party Always getting praised like it's Sunday She said baby what you gonna do about it